okay, you have to put yourself into the character. Otherwise, you cannot make the character come to life. Now, because I put myself into a character so much, people think that I write about myself. Okay, the main character of this book is um, Diana. Main character of this book, there are two of them, is Cassandra and um, Natalie. I am not any of them. People will say, oh, so you met this person and this, I say, this isn't me. I'm a writer, I'm, I'm becoming someone else. I put myself into the, the shoes of this person. Okay, it's much easier for me to put myself into the shoes of a woman around my age who lives in the suburbs and who is involved with the schools. Okay, it's easier for me because that's what I do. However, uh, not all the characters are that and I write about men not in the in in first person, but the characters are like the men and the other characters are side characters, even though they are main characters. Because I, the books, both of them, are, seen, are written through the eyes of one woman here and two women here alternating, Cassandra and Natalie. Each chapter in this book uh, has the name of the woman and is what she's going through and how she sees things. And then the next one is the name of Natalie and how she sees the same things or different things. And they connect, these women are connected. Now this story started right here. This is Lasden Park. Lasden Park is in Somers and there are free jazz concerts during the summer. I've been going there for 10 years. I used to go there with my children when they were small and then with a friend and now by myself sometimes. And I took this picture last summer when I was by myself. This is my bag and my hat. And uh, I was looking, but you know, the story started in my head long before. I was looking at musicians flying, they're very good. Uh, and I was thinking, what if that man over there, I would put him at a keyboard. There was nobody at a keyboard. But I said, I'll put him at a keyboard. I'll make him maybe a little more attractive. And then I'm going to have Cassandra sit here, and she's there with a friend, and looking at this musician, and something happens. And then I put that aside. Eventually, other things came into my mind, so I, I, found, I picked up Cassandra again, my character, I threw it at Lassen Park. And the story starts. It doesn't start at Lassen Park. The story, believe it or not, starts near where I live. Because that's what I know. I know the names of the streets. I know everything about the area, so I can make it real. I can describe the post office, the Portuguese restaurant over there. And I make all my characters go to these places all over Westchester, uh, where you know, they, uh, they go to restaurants and they go to stores, and they go to the bagel shop in East Chester, where I used to go a lot when I lived there. And I know what it looks like, so it's very real. And the, especially the people who live in Westchester, they know the places and you know, it's fun for them to see these things happen. And these are things that are actually not the stories and not the characters, but the places are real. Are the characters based on real people? Yes and no. I have one of the characters in this book, a doctor, loosely based on a doctor I know. Very loosely. And he probably would not recognize himself. But he did something um, different with his life. And I found it fascinating, so I used it. And um, the, the other characters here, you know what you do as a writer? You pick up different um, aspects of different people's lives, or different features, and you throw them all together and you create new things. And again, I do this. Um, as I sit down on the computer, I don't plan ahead that much. Like uh, my, my classes, I prepare material, my Italian classes that I do here in Arma. I prepare the material, but what I'm gonna say to you might not be what I started with. Because I need to feel these things, and it's more exciting and interesting when I feel. Okay. So another important thing about writing is combining your interests. Write about something you like. I'm not going to write about baseball because I couldn't care less about baseball. I'm not into sports 
or even soccer. Even though I'm Italian and everybody's supposed to love soccer, I have zero interest in soccer. I don't write that. I like to cook. I like to bake. That's what I write about. And my characters, they all cook, they all bake, or some more than others. I talk about food a lot in my books because it's always a little comfort zone uh, of everybody's life. For example, uh, I have Cassandra here, which she's, um, after I read you a bit of this, um, she is in a, in a position that she's very stressed and uh, she feels like the entire world is trying to get her. She's, so she goes home and what does she do? She goes into the kitchen and in the kitchen she starts making a cake and uh, flour, eggs, sugar, all this basic thing. And it's amazing how when you're mixing all these ingredients together, these things are so different in texture, liquid, and then you get this gorgeous golden uh, perfumed uh, vanilla or orange flower water, whatever cake. And it's so simple. It just comes together like a little miracle. So I put this, my love of baking, into my, my writing because it makes it more real. A fun thing to do with writing is take ordinary people I'm not the only one doing it, and throw them into crazy circumstances. Do these women do some things that I would like to do? Yeah, they do. And they can do it. I can throw them in different countries or in different places, in dangerous situations where I wouldn't like to be, but I can put them in there and see what happens. You know what else happens? That I don't know what happens. What happens once I create the characters, I never know what they're going to do because characters take on a life of their own and they become real. They take over the story. I start writing something and you know I start writing because she has blue eyes, you know, I create an image in my head and then next thing I know Cassandra went to this place instead where I wanted to do something else. Or, or I wanted her to say a certain thing to her friend or to this man, but she said something else. That's true. That is absolutely true. People don't believe me when I say that. And I didn't believe it either. I read this because I took a lot of creative writing uh, workshops and I read a lot in, in, in both languages. And uh, I'm always fascinated with characters because they do some outrageous things. Well, they do it on their own. I have nothing to do with it. Is it in the back of my head someplace? Probably. But my character starts doing, and, and then I said, I stopped. I said, oh my goodness, why did she go there? I didn't, this wasn't the time yet. She was supposed to do this at the end of the book, but she went there. Okay, so you stop. Now you put yourself into the character again. Now what? What is she gonna do? And you start working from there. And again, what somebody else is going to tell her? You don't know that. It just, these things come, I know, sounds really crazy, but these things actually come to you, and uh, that's how the book is created. Next thing you know, you have a complete book. Now, do I know where I'm going? I have no idea where I'm going when I write a book. I might, you know, think of certain things that I, I want to do, but once I start writing, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know how the story is going to end. Like, the sto I'm not gonna tell you the end, naturally, but the story of this book, the end of this book, I had a certain idea what I wanted, but it, something happened in my life that uh, drastically changed the ending of the book. I had to change it because I wouldn't have felt right if I didn't do that. I had to include some event that happened in this book because otherwise I, I felt like uh, I was not doing the right thing. I don't know, just something with me. So I changed, uh, that was the ending. It came from uh, while I was writing the book. These things happen because you never know where your characters are going to take you.